It watched from the shadows, waiting. Its prey wasn't a fish, it wasn't a mammal, it was a dinosaur. One hundred million years ago, the rivers of North Africa were not safe. Something lurked beneath the surface, something with a skull the size of a grown man. Its body stretched longer than a city bus and its jaws. Its jaws were filled with over 100 teeth, each one a railroad spike. This was no ordinary crocodile. This was Dinosuchius. The name means terrible crocodile, and for good reason. It didn't just ambush small animals at the water's edge. It took on giants. A thirsty Albertosaurus, a fearsome cousin of T-Rex, lowers its head for a drink. A fatal mistake. From the murky depths, a log isn't a log. Eyes like polished stones break the surface. There's a sudden explosion of water. Jaws, wider than you can imagine, clamp down on the dinosaur's snout. The sheer force is immense, a bone-crushing pressure that no creature could withstand. It drags the struggling predator into the water, a twisting, violent death roll that echoes through the prehistoric swamps. The king of the land has just been dethroned by the monster of the river. But here's the most terrifying part. Fossil evidence shows bite marks from Dinosuchus on the bones of T-Rex's own relatives. This wasn't a one-time event. This was a regular hunt. The super crocodile wasn't just a scavenger. It was an apex predator that actively targeted other apex predators. It saw a tyrannosaur not as a threat, but as a meal. For millions of years, if you were a dinosaur and you went for a drink, you might not come back. They ruled the waterways with absolute terror, a dynasty of giants. But their reign had to end, and what rose from the depths to take their place was even worse.